Tools required. Tape measure, scribe, spirit level, solvent resistant paintbrush, scissors, silicon roller, penny roller. Materials required. EPDM primer, 3 inch seam tape. Overlap the two EPDM membrane sheets to be joined by a minimum of 75 millimeters. Fold back the top sheet of EPDM membrane. Use a tape measure to measure 85 millimeters from the edge of the first already fitted sheet of membrane. Mark the same measurement at the other end of the length of membrane. Use the straight edge of a spirit level and a scribe to join the two marks to create a prime line. Use an appropriate weight, here we're using a spirit level, to hold down the folded back membrane. Use a paintbrush to apply a coat of EPDM primer along the 85mm prime line. Make sure the primer extends 10mm past the top sheet edge. Wait for EPDM primer to be touched dry. Apply 3 inch, which is 76 mm seam tape to the prime line. Make sure to line up the edge of the primer with the edge of the black tape, not the 5 mm transparent poly backing strip. Use scissors to cut the tape to the same length as the overhanging membrane. Use a silicon roller to apply pressure along the full length of the seam tape. Fold back the top sheet of membrane and use an appropriate weight. Here we're using a spirit level to hold it into place. Use a paintbrush to apply EPDM primer along the underside edge of the top sheet of membrane. Wait for EPDM primer to be touched dry. Fold the primed top sheet of membrane onto the strip of seam tape. Pull the seam tape's poly backing tape out from under the top sheet of membrane at a 45 degree angle. Use your other hand to follow along as you do so and press the membrane down onto the seam tape. Make sure not to trap air in the join when smoothing the top sheet onto the seam tape. Use a silicon roller to apply pressure along the join. To seal and create neat edges, use a penny roller to apply pressure along the edge of the join, under the top sheet and along the edge of the overlap. 